Hi again. Are you afraid right now? Were you afraid long before COVID-19 hit? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of getting sick? Are you afraid of the new murderer hornets that have just been found in Washington state? Are you afraid of losing your home, your friends, your spouse, your child? Are you afraid that you just don't measure up to what God demands? Now, as you reflect back on your life, I'm sure there have been moments of extreme fear and worry. There are places where you just weren't sure that you were going to make it through. Or maybe you have that reoccurring phobia that that hits you at the worst possible moments and and you become paralyzed, gripped by fear. Now, I had that happen to me a, a bit a few weeks ago. Growing up, I was always afraid of heights, at least man made heights especially when it came to railings. Now, I don't know if it was just I didn't trust that the builder had made the railings secure, or I kept remembering that scene in Superman where the little kid falls off the railing into Niagara Falls. But I hated going near the edge or trusting that a railing would hold me. Well, thankfully, over the years, I got over that fear. At least, I thought so. Partly from working on high ladders and cherry pickers, well, at the same time often operating a chainsaw. Or maybe I got over that fear by taking up rock climbing and building my own railings. But a few weeks ago, I went up on a hike on Picacho Peak. Now, I'd never done it before, and so I think you'll know what I mean. I got to one of the chain sections right in the middle, and all of a sudden, that fear of heights, it got to me again, just for a few moments. Now, thankfully, it passed, but it hit me that After all of these years, I still don't trust man-made railings or man-made supports. And perhaps that's our problem ultimately, is where we are all putting our trust. Often we put our trust in humans and worldly things that all too often, they do fail. They leave us hanging, they leave us in ruin. So much of the things that we hold on to support for comfort, for safety, they end up failing us when we need them most. And the reason for this is that the effects of sin make even the best the world offers rotten to the core. So thank God that he offers us support, safety, and comfort that never fails. Support that is completely trustworthy and stable, no matter how much we lean on it, no matter how much we try and destroy everything that he has done for us. Thank God that in spite of our present fears, the doubts, the worries, that he's already given us the always stable promises of forgiveness, grace, and eternal life. Thank goodness that in spite of us, definitely not measuring up to what God demands, he promises that he's got us. And when we have fears, when we have doubts, we can go to him in prayer to lay out our problems before his throne of peace. So dear friends, dear children of God, do not be afraid. But trust in God as your anchor, your always trustworthy support in times of trouble and times of peace. We read today from Isaiah 41 verses 13 through 14. For I am the Lord, your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. And so let us pray. Dearest Lord, we come before you with fear and trembling over our sin, over our doubts, over the worries that invade our hearts. Bring us calm and peace through your comforting message of salvation and lead us to trust in you alone. Continue to bring calm to those who are growing restless and weary of waiting and doing what is right. Keep us all in your grace until we join you in heaven someday. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So may God bless you, and I'll see you again soon.